the best way to farm rare samples if you're a solo player duo squads whatever it is so you're gonna need a blitz mission on tier five on the terminate side and the reason we're not gonna be running seven eight or nine there's just way more enemies running at you there's tons of bile titans all that kind of stuff so if you're really trying to farm rare and even common materials the perfect sweet spot is tier five because you can still extract a lot of them and it's much easier and faster to get these runs done on top of that blitz missions only take 12 minutes and another really cool thing is that this mission is accessible pretty much on any of the planets when it comes to the terminates on top of that you barely see any bile titans on level five so yeah it is an absolutely phenomenal farm if you're a solo player this is easily possible if you have a full team it's even 10 times easier it's gonna be faster and then you're literally just gonna fly in and go from there sometimes you do run into the what's it called the radar missions that will unlock all the diamonds on the map really quick if you get lucky that mission can be there so if you see that make sure to complete it if not the goal is to just run around and find as many as possible even if the timer runs out you just wait for the extraction and then get out if you can get like 10 plus materials every run under 10 minutes that's actually pretty good if you're a solo player 500 kg napalm shield since we have the grenade pistol now i'm not gonna be picking up the grenade launcher anymore for the blitz missions that's usually what i used to run before the grenade pistol I'm gonna grab the stamina we're gonna run the incendiary shotgun in combination with the grenade pistol it's, it's a great combo we can have amazing edge clear and then close buckles with the pistol obviously stun grenades and six stims on the light armor the rebellion shall rise in super earth and when it does we shall take our opportunity to strike hi do let's go let's go for the buckles let's spread out since it's two of us i'm gonna go this way you go the other way if we see buckholes, obviously we close them, but our goal is to find as many mats as possible. And you only need six buckholes on level five too, which is crazy, dude. That's so easy. Look at that. You can get 19 rare sepals on tier five. That is actually incredible. On super credits. Nice. Nice. Never say no to super credits, huh? Exactly. I found some materials, by the for way. Democracy. I'm waiting for the fire I to as well. disappear, and I'm going to gra grab them. There we go. Oh, there's definitely going to be some right over there. I'm going to move towards that jet so we fight some, find some uh, more el materialos and go from there and the reason also we're making this content on level five is because it's going to be more accessible to more people solo players duo whatever it is especially if you're a, like a new player and you just love in the game and you want to get as many materials as possible i want to make videos that makes it easier for you to do that regardless if you're solo or not and if you go on tier seven first of all not a lot of people if you're new are going to have access to tier seven right away but you're going to get to five pretty fast, which makes it much easier for you to use this method. Like right here, look at this. We're already at what? We have five and four, which is really good. We've only been here a few minutes. Technically, you don't even have to worry about the buckles because the goal of this is just to find as many materials and then get out. But usually you also find materials around buckles. So where did the resupply go here? Oh, there it is. I'm going to pick it up real quick. Last buckle on this side. Boom. We just need two more now. I'm going I'm good to them right now. We're already at 13 and 8. That's actually pretty good. We're at 16 now. Got one. Oh, there's a bunch of mats here. Yeah, I think that's where most of them are. Oh, the... Yeah, there's a bunch of mats there. We're at 20 and 12, which is actually really good. Oh, you, were, you discovered the radar station. Oh, I found a radar. Nice. Administering 
I almost forgot I picked up the flamethrower. <laughs> Dude, there's so much shit here, though. It's crazy. See, this is what I mean. We're on five, and we still get a lot of ads, though. A lot of them. So it's not worth doing it on seven and eight if you're solo and... There is one base I have on the way, so I might look into it. Yeah, I think I'll look into it here. No materials here, though. I'm going to move to to the extraction. Oh, there is a diamond on the no. way. Oh, I'll check it. Like, we almost grabbed all of the materials. You see that, right? 22 and out, 15 out of 19 rares. Technically, we're here for the rares. That's what we're kind of focused on. Not the rest. Oh, my goodness. I destroyed that charger. I can reload though. Oh, do you still have the eruptor? Yeah, 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 I have your eruptor still. Thirty-one streak. With just the flamethrower, this is crazy cool, man. 22 and 15. That's actually pretty good, bro. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Let's go! I mean, we literally have the best community of all time. Oh! Oh, we got no scopes!